Hi everyone, welcome to another Tonic Live with myself Owen. And me Alison. Hi, uh, as usual we'll go through the running order early on. Um, this is live show three by the way, so if you want to catch up on the previous ones, scroll down on Facebook and you've got the previous shows where we've done some other tutorials. We've done a few for you to catch up on then. Alright, so um, yeah, so what we're going to do is have questions along uh, watching the live stream and then we've got a tutorial with Alison and then we've got a special guest later who's going to do two more tutorials with us, okay? So um, take it off. We got requested a tutorial by Bev Huntington for a shuttercart tutorial. So, Alison, take it away. So that's what I'm going to do today. This is the card I'm going to make. And this is made with our Clarence shutter die set. Yeah. I'm just going to pop it down by there. Yeah, then we've got to show the card as well. So that's what we're working towards. Everyone. This is the die set. We've got four shutter dies in the series. And you can do exactly the same with any of the downs. You can see what I'm doing. I find it easier to use a pen, a, a pen, a pencil, and a scoring board to mark where I'm going to put my die. So I'm just going to talk you through how I do it. I'm going to make a mark from the top to the bottom of my of my sheet of A4 card. So I've got a scoring board here. It's just a basic scoring board, nothing fancy. So the only lines I'm going to be using are my A5 gatefold line and my A5 halffold line. If you haven't got one of these boards and you use a board that's got centimetres or inches on it, I'll give you the exchanges. I'd like to say hi to a few people. Uh, say Ruth said hello and Paula. Uh, hi Ruth. Guys. Hi Paula. Hi, <laughs> um, I'll give you the code on that Clarence uh, shutter die. So for any of the codes I read out, these are say, the codes for say the products we have or we show today. I'll try and read out everything that we use today. The codes usually go um, for say the codes, so a few numbers and an E number, okay? And if you ever want to find them online, um, if you're not, after they've been on Create and Craft, if you type in this number that I'm going to give you now, followed by the E and then Tonic, you usually find uh, at any retailer, okay? So um, this one would have been say 1025E uh, and that's Clarence Shatterdye. All right? Here we are. Here we go. Right. I don't know whether I can hold this up and show you. What I do, I line the ruler up with the score point on my board. So I know my line is straight, so I've got no, nothing wonky there, and I can repeat it on the other side in exactly the same place. So as I say, I've got this on the A5 gatefold line. If you're using a centimetre scoring board, it would be five centimetres. If you're using an inch scoring board, it would be two inches. So I'm just going to do a line. I'm going to make this heavier than I would normally so that you can see it on the screen. What you do is normally just... Just do a few highs. Yeah. Cheryl, uh, hi, I thanks for, for joining. I think uh, you can and Julie. See it can you see? There we I go. Think you I can. think you can. Yeah, you can see yeah. the, the, the shine of that. There we go. Can yeah. you see that, guys? There we go. Yeah. So I'm Let's just go. going to repeat that on the other side. So again, I'm on the A5 gatefold line. So we've got our two lines on there. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, you can. The other, th the other thing I'm going to do then, I'm going to turn the the card around, and I'm going on the half fold gate, uh, the half fold A4 line. So this would be a centre fold on an A4 card. So again, I'm just holding my ruler straight so that I can see it on the top and the bottom line, and I'm just going to make a cross here line on each of them i've obviously exaggerated this a little bit now there we go I think okay yeah, yeah. Good. so Sorry. that's that's all my measuring done right i'll say some say hi as well uh, i am um, tracy uh so tune in as well um any questions you have by the way guys if you want to just comment it below um for myself or alison do our best to, to help okay so the main mechanism for the shutter die is the long die in the package it's got a little notch, top and, and underneath. That is going to line up on my centre fold where I've drawn the little lines. With this die, it depends how big or small you want your central panel. I'm lining up the, the little notch with the down line, but I'm also looking, there's some little rectangles that are cut out, and I'm lining those up along the horizontal line 
So I know then that everything is straight on my die. Should I hold that up? And yeah. So maybe they can I'll see stick it yeah. down then. I don't know whether you'll see. I think it'll be alright. Yeah. yeah I was gonna see. Can, can you see that, guys? Oh, there we go. If our special guest, could you reckon you could uh, just show your hand, record it, and just hold it? There we go. <laughs> all right. And that's that's going to be my shuffle. So I'm going to do that on both sides. There we go. Uh, that's the tangerine dye machine, by the way, guys. Um, got them coming back in uh, later this summer. All sold out everywhere at the moment. Really popular. Uh, when we do come back in, we're going to let everyone know on social media, okay? Okay. So there's my waist from my dye. Just get rid of that. And I'm going to repeat on the other side. So again, I've got the notch over my centre line. And I can just see the line through the rectangles. So I know everything is straight. I have a thing about things being straight, yeah. don't I? I don't do walking lines. <laughs> we had everything straight last week. That's great. Um, yeah, for any of you who haven't caught the start of this tutorial, it all saves to Facebook, so you'll be able to tune in later on, okay? So you'll be able to catch up with everything uh, so put me and Alison have done and uh, the tutorials from later on, okay? Okay. Hi, Kerry Porter as well. Uh, and hi, Lillian. Hi, Jean. If you're coming in now. Hi. Uh, I hope you're enjoying. Hi, everyone. So there's my, my card, my base all created. That's the shape you're left with. So now I need my scoring board again. Don't need the ruler this time. And I am going to score. There are a number of shapes on the, there's an, a sheet included with your die. I'm just going to open this up to show okay. you. Oh, Inside, you've got quite a few designs that you can follow to make different shaped cards. The one I'm going to do now, again, these could be, I'm not using any particular lines to score this, but I will tell you where I'm scoring. So along, along the top fold, I've got two scores, top and bottom, all of is the same. So this line is going, let me hold this up to show. Where we've got the fleur de lis pattern, I'm going to score above <laughs> and below. So that's roughly a DL line. I'll just say some, uh, say hi to you, say Pamela, uh, Carol, Mr. Beginning, but yeah, if you, this will be saved later on, so you'll be able to watch it again if you didn't catch anything. Um, Sue, uh, hi. Uh, I think Nikki as well, hi, hello. I'm also going through, right the way through the middle of the fleur de lis. So that's our first, our first fold done on that line. So I'm gonna turn it over and I'm going to repeat on the other side. So again, we're on the DL line, but if you're using a centimeter or inch board, just look where the fleur de lis are and go right the way through the middle of them. And that is top, bottom, and the middle of your board. Hi, Jane. Um, and hi, Sarah. No, kind words saying the demonstrations are brilliant Alison so oh thank you okay yeah hope you are enjoying and again any questions and things like that pop them in the comments below or at the end of this video just save them so that's all those lines I'm going to do two more lines and they're going to come from here down to the other from the top line here to the bottom so just a little bit in the middle this time it doesn't tally up with any of my lines on my board so I'm just sliding the the card across until I can just see the edge of the score line on the board and just drawing a line down and then I'm going to repeat on the other side there we go there we are That's me. we'll give you a good view of that at the end and if, so sorry I was going to say if, if you're watching um, if you're watching it back I guess you can pause through this and pause it each bit you know as you're going along so there, there's our board right so on the top now i've got a mountain fold then i've got a valley fold so we're going to repeat on the bottom i've turned it over now let me do the same way okay so there's a mountain there's a valley i'll do the same on the bottom 
there's a mountain there's a valley I haven't creased them all yet I was crease them after with a with my bone folder or my scoring tool I've got another mountain on the edge valley where the fleur de lis are mountain where the other fleur de lis are and a valley um, who was asked? Uh, Kerry's asked what the GSM are you using? What card? This is a 240 GSM. Yeah. And that's what you pretty much use. I use that time. for for most things. So we've got a few shapes we can make with our card. We could make that. I don't know if you can see it there. Yeah, you see the three. Well, the, there we go. You can see a bit inside and looks great. You could put two of those together and make a bigger box. Or. You can push those forward, push the centre back. It's just a case of playing with these. I don't. Yeah, I don't put the tile on there. That's it. I'm pushing these all the wrong way now. I know, yeah. <laughs> so there's another one. It will go. I promise you, you it got will it. go. That's it. Do some more highs. Yeah, Kerry. Yeah. Kerry said thank you. Um, Paula said nice as well. Ah, oh, thank you. Right, so what I'm going to do with mine, I am going to, do you know, I've forgotten what I'm doing now with these. <laughs> I've creased them in so many ways. Right, there's my top creased and folded, and my middle automatically folded on its own then. I'm going to run over all the folds with my scoring tool. And then I will go through the folds again with you. That's great. Just a quick uh, reminder: any of you who aren't like who are, who are watching this and haven't liked the Tonic Facebook page, we've got a number of social media. Uh, I'll get a bit of paper we made just so you could so you follow along. These are some of the social medias we were available on a uh, YouTube channel. If you want to subscribe to that, um, where we're going to try and upload these. Um, just so if you're not available on Facebook and you prefer to go on YouTube, you'll be able to watch more. Oh, there. lovely. Okay. So I'll just explain them again. On the top and the bottom, we've got a mountain fold, then a valley fold. In the centre, we've got a mountain, valley, mountain, valley. And that's what gives it the shutter effect. So I've cut some of the panels in the die just to decorate it. So I've used the larger panels, although you have got smaller panels so normally I would rub out all my pencil lines and everything. Hi, Sue Foot. Hi, hi, Sue. I think she's tonicaholic. We see your name quite often on the, on the. Uh, hi, Lisa. Uh, in Bridge as well. Uh, not too far away at all. We're hi, in Lisa. So I'm using our tonic funky glue here. It's it's my go-to glue for any paper crafting. Yeah, it's pretty much you. Yeah, when you said it's been used in other every tutorials as well. Used. That's pretty much every every week us we've been using on uh, and the code for that let's say that will be 421e so if you guys want to get some of that funky glue that's 421e uh, you type that into google you'll find it there uh, it's available most good uh, craft retailers Okey there we go so i'm just decorating the outside as i say you've got the smaller um squares to decorate it you could also cut into your die because they're verso dies into your card sorry so you can have um more of a doily effect on your card so i'm just turning some of these i've just turned them opposite just to give a little bit more detail that's great um just to let you know we'll be announcing uh, the competition winner say in the interval between the next tutorials so we'll announce that winner let you know what you get a chance to win this week okay a few people asked as well about um to the gold box as well so i'll go through a bit of that with you as well so yeah just uh lovely be adding in there okay. i've cut two layers out of our square layering dies and i'm just going to pop that in the center i can give them a measure if you like um right the first one the largest one is just over Oh, two and five eighths of an inch, and in centimeters that would be just under seven centimeters. Yeah, and then the next one is the next size down in your layering dies, which is just under six centimeters. And I am, by the way, just uh, over two and a quarter inches. 
And then I've got a little congrats die because I thought we could give this as a special occasion. That central square, by the way, uh, that was done using the square layering die set. Okay, that's 480E. Uh, and usually retails for around twenty two ninety nine. So you, a lot of you may have that, but it's a good staple to your. I couldn't your be craft. without it. Yeah. So everything you want to, you know, bits and pieces. That's the one. So we've got our congrats mini moments, miniature moments die, to go in the centre, and a card wouldn't be completed without a couple of crystal drops. There so you go. today yeah. I've got the ivory seashell. Yeah, that's six seven five N. Um, that's not, so ivory seashell that's the crystal drops got an, if you're to new to tonic uh, crystal, crystal drops we've got so I think there's around 35 now um, 38. yeah 38 around 38 crystal wow. drops different shades um, glitter drops as included in that so yeah there's uh, plenty of varieties if you like the look of those there's plenty of those out there you know there were crystal drops along with tonic uh, and you'll find those so there we are I'm just popping a few crystal drops just on the pattern I'll hold it up now so you can have a little look yeah and, uh, How long do you take to dry internet. usually? Oh. I like to leave them overnight if you're going to send them out. Um, but otherwise, between half an hour and an hour, they touch dry. That's what we did last week. I picked up the card too soon after. And, and you put your fingers just, in Yeah, it. so we had a remade one for the, the prize winner uh, this week. I'll be shooting him if he does it again <laughs> this week. <laughs> just, we just have to leave everything. Just leave everything where it is. It's on the desk. Leave it Don't where it is. Touch. I won't touch. <laughs> What we got on here? Let's have a look. Um, and there's my card finished. As I say, I would rub off my pencil lines. But there's my shutter card. There we go. So hopefully you can go home now. Brilliant, yeah. That's it. that's it. You can uh, take your time, like pause through it, because it'll be uploaded later uh, to Facebook shortly after, and you'll be able to go through and, and make all these uh, all, all these tutorials and check back to see the other tutorials we've done as well. That's it. Great, well we've done. got an angel policy as well, just in case... Uh, nobody knows you just make as much as you like sell as much as you like for your crafty stash or just to play with yeah great so uh, so we'll get a bit see if we can get it a bit closer just so you guys can see the detail there with the crystal drops i don't know if you could oh, there we go and you can see a bit of a raise there we go i'm just going to clear up my my bits for our special visitor yeah, so special to visit <laughs> coming soon. Um, just to let you know, these are see weekly uh, things we're trying to do this this tonic live. So if you haven't caught the other ones, we said say there are ones to catch up on and get back with. But we're going to try to do every week. But it's your content which say drives this. So if you want to anything you want to see in next week tutorials, we'll look back through other tutorials which have been requested as well and try and get them on you and try and fit in as many as we can really. Um, so go through. I'll just have a little quick look. Uh, see who else. Uh, Jean. Uh, hi, uh, let me have a look. They're all moving so fast, everyone's tuning in now. Uh, Lisa, the planning a meetup, I think, in Bridgend with uh, some other crafters by the looks of it. Uh, <laughs> using our lives as a you know, forum to all get together. Um, right, so what I'll do is I'll move on to the to the competition, uh, say last week, before we do the announcement. Um, so what we, uh, the winner was going to be, so the gold box, the last gold box that we had uh, here. So all of you didn't catch it last time. Uh, that includes so die sets and DVD, uh, see with the, the gold box, and we've got a new one coming out, and it should be coming out so, at some point this month, next in the set. But to announce the winner of that was uh, Mary Evans. Now Mary Evans commented on the last uh, video we said uh, with the recommendation of, of what she'd like, um, and uh, if you'd like to give us a private message, uh, Mary, and just let us know your name and address, we'll be able to get that box sent out to you via courier. Um, as soon as we can okay um also to win the card that was demonstrated last week that'll be included as well mary okay so congratulations well done um right and tune out to next week's so next week's uh well, this week's competition all the comments which go below uh, we're going to draw another one at random and announce say, the winner next week and that's going to be for the so pretty corners and strips okay so all the cards which were made today will be included with this as well uh we'll get them signed by a few of the members of the team or one people you've met before myself allison um here you go here's the selection this is what we'll be giving away this week so any comments below we'll draw them at random someone at random uh, and you get a chance to win so further ado i think i'll be announcing a special guest so um mandy well you've already caught a head in shot the, su the, su <laughs> the surprise has been absolutely ruined by this. i was going to try and oh. Can we get someone out? She'll sure be spoiled. Uh, so, uh, Mandy, um, yeah, Mandy, come on, come in shot now. Come on, Mandy. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mandy um, to help make some of the cards. Yeah. There's some demos as well. Um, and she's going to be showing, say, some stamps today. So the weekend show uh, on Create and Craft, uh, the weekend, uh, so they'll be at, say, 9, uh, 9 a.m. on the weekend. We'll see you demonstrating two of the stamps from that. I'm sitting down, by the way. That's not, it's not she's really tall. <laughs> Any of you who haven't seen, I, I do then. have legs. <laughs> it's only so, me, okay. this is the midget. So, yeah, um, Mandy, yeah, take it away. Okay, hi, everybody. Today I'm going to show you um, a couple of quick basic stamping techniques using these fabulous new stamps that are coming out, okay? So the first one I'm going to show you is I'm going to show you how to do some layering stamp with one of the beautiful rosebuds in the, one of the sets. There you go, okay. There you go. So what we're actually going to do on this, we've done some first um, and second generation stamping and a little bit of the embossing as well to add some glaze. It's nice and easy to do, nice and quick. We'll, we'll try and move the camera a little bit closer because mm -hmm. I know it's more the technique with these and uh, we're just getting it. There we go. I think okay. that's that's okay for everyone. Um, here we go. Okay. Hi, uh, Gurjan. Um, <laughs> by the way, uh, let's have a look. Crafty Teresa, Grace Craft. Hi, as well. <laughs> Thanks so, everyone for tuning in. Sorry. Okay. Carry on. Sorry. <laughs> right. The first thing I did uh, before I started was I've just um, taken um, a base layer because it comes in layers, the actual stamp. So I'll use this one first and it's multi-layered. So I'm going to show you that now. The first thing I did was stamped the, there you go, you can see that there, can't you? Yeah. This stamp just there, I've stamped that just onto some photocopying paper. I've put some uh, spread mount or you could use a, one of your glue pens if yeah. it wants to dry just to give it a repositionable and we're going to use those as masks to be able to be layering so the first thing I'm going to show you I'm going to stamp the rose okay the reason why I've got a piece of paper here is I'm doing the second generation uh, stamping just to show you you can use one color ink to get two colors from one ink pad yeah okay so what I'm doing is I've inked that up Okay, you can see there. Then I'm going to stamp it off onto some scrap. Okay. What type of ink are you using? Now? I'm using archival ink. This lovely. one's a dandelion. This one is. Lovely. So what I'm going to do. It's lovely, isn't it? But you can get the. You can see the two different colours you can get from the one ink pad. Nice pale yellow. Just anyone tuning in now. Yeah, these are new stamps which are going to be on uh, Creating Craft this weekend. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. So and, and we'll be announcing on social media. Um, just there'll be loads of, sort of pictures, things and like that of uh, page. There you go. So I'm just stamping the three on there to show you, okay? There you go. So that's our first stage. We've got the, you see the three stamps there just there. Oh, not much further. Things. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Alison will help, but there she'll be handy dance. Yeah, magic there dance. Go. There you go. So that's the base. Now I'm going to change the stamp over and I'm going to use the top layer of the rose. But this time, what we're going to do. I'll move that sheet away for you. Is I'm not going to stamp this ink off. I'm going to stamp it as the main colour. I can't stamp upside down, so I will flick it round for you. So what I'm going to do is I actually lay this over our base image, okay, right onto the top, all right. And if you can see that now, it's created your rosebud effect. There we go. Okay. It's beautiful. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. And then remember, it's the same colour ink. We're just doing different generations on the stamping. The details coming from this beautiful little top stamp. G Jean asks, um, "What is the difference between the inks? Between different inks? Different inks. You have different inks for different um, techniques. Archival is good if you want anything that's going to be water-based. Yeah. Okay, because it won't smudge or move. Oops, I just my so I just dropped my sears. <laughs> my sears on. They won't drop them. Okay. <laughs> if I'm stamping with the Nouveau marker pens, yeah, because they're alcohol-based, then we'd use a memento ink because it's dye-based. So you can't use, um, you've got to use like with like. So yeah, yeah. solvent, you wouldn't use with a solvent base, which is alcohol and say um, a, uh, a stays on pad. You have to use like with like. That's right. okay. and so it's very important is, it's a good question as well. Very uh, good question. Gareth asks, what, why does the color change or why does it change color? On this technique here, yeah. because you're stamping off the original density of the color and we're just using the what's left on the stamp. And that's how you get your two tones, which means any ink pad you've got, you can make it. Oh, so you have a choice colors. of the, yes, the tone you that you can yes. have, yeah. yeah. So just clean that off there. So that's our first one, okay. Just gonna draw that off now. Then we're gonna add the leaves. This is a brilliant set because you get the stems with it as well. But this is where I'm gonna start the masking technique, yeah. okay. So I'm using these little cutouts, okay, yeah. here. 
and I'm going to place that directly over the flower I've stamped there and what this does it protects the underneath so you're not going to stamp over the image you've already done okay so if I just protect all my flowers give you guys a close-up in a sec yep, yeah um, hi Nicola and okay. uh, hi Diane uh, thanks for the yeah there thanks for the compliment hope you are enjoying everyone so now I'm going to start adding some greenery. Okay, so again, I'm using archive link here again. Do you need to type that or you're just using two colours this time? Yes, these two colours. Okay, so all I do is line it up underneath my flower and stamp down. Okay, oh, so I'm going to carry that's, on. Yeah, that's Sorry, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's good. And because the mask is there, you stamp it over the mask, not over your flower. Okay. So when I come to do the next one, hands shaking now. I didn't get no. We're gonna. You can see it. We're gonna keep on going down. There you go. Okay. I'm waiting for the satisfying reveal now. Okay, <laughs> no, that's what I'm... And it went. Yeah, no, that's it. <laughs> and then the third one. Okay. But I'm also going to while it's there before I reveal it. I'm going to put the next layer on because there's a third layer to this. Which is four layers altogether, to be honest. <laughs> that's that's why I said absolutely so. brilliant. It's how you make all your bouquets and make all your bows. A little tiny stamp, you won't see it from there, but wait mm. till you see it when it's added on. So now I'm going to change ink and I'm going to go a shade darker in my greens. Okay. That's it, I suppose. So I'm just ink going. To, yeah. you choose, you, I would you normally know, always go creative. pad to stamp, always to get yeah. ink, because it's so small. Mm. and we want to get it done <laughs> I'm doing it so what I do now is I put the ink on my stamp and I'm lining that then over the top of where I've already gone I will put that back on in a minute okay it's really hard to see but oh, yeah, be brilliant. you can see the darker okay. layer really underneath good. is giving you that shadow and the highlight to your flower get a good close up of that it looks yeah, great come off that one there, no, I know. we'll keep the top the camera's on this side yeah Okay. Yeah, yeah, Lovely. brilliant. But you see how that's layering up, it's absolutely beautiful. Then I'm going to borrow this one because this one's still tacky. Okay. So I'm doing exactly the same again. Okay. And I'm going to stamp over the details already there. Okay. And this one, I don't need a mask because I'm already down the bottom one anyway. Um, hi, uh, Marie, okay. by the way. Um, can we demonstrate the shutter dies? Already done it, Marie. Don't worry. Tune in. <laughs> w w watch this video um, when it gets saved now. And you can watch from the start. And Alison did a, a shutter die tutorial for you. Okay, so hi. Uh, and hi, Anne. And hi, Val, as well. She's doing some hellos. I'm just going to swap over two seconds. There you go. But any tutorials you'd like to see for next okay. week, um, then my final be sure to layer. comment down. Then the final layer, this actual one goes on top of the leaves on the main part there. Okay, so I'm going to do this and then I'll show you as you go through. So this just lines up in the centre of the leafy part of your stem. Okay, can you see the way it lines up there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Be gentle. All right, so when you take this mask off, there you go, you can see, if you can get it closer, all the different layers. It looks great. Absolutely stunning stamp set. I'm loving yeah, this stamp set. I really am. Yeah, really lovely. So much you can create with it. And these are all on Creating Craft this weekend at from uh, 9 a.m. Okay, so, um, oh, brilliant. That's the, <laughs> to, get that, to, get, yeah. to, get, to get your glaze. Yeah. To get the glaze, I'm going to Versamark pad. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my base image back on. Okay, and I'm going to use the Versa mark on here. And then what you do is you carefully line it up over the top of what you've already done. He says, shake it still. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay, again, I'm going to do that even normally the way around. So I just want to put a tiny bit of glaze over the top. And this way I can get all my coloured effects without having to over emboss. What, what is it, the Versa mark? It's like a sticky ink. Sticky it's ink. a clear sticky ink. It's great if you want to do um, the embossing. But it's also great if you want to create a watermark on the back of a card. It'll take it one shade darker. Okay. Okay. So just move that out of the way for you now. So you can use the clear powder. I'll, I'll give you a code on that. Yeah, that's 602N, uh, the embossing powder that's Glacier White. 
No, that's the clear. clear one. Oh, sorry, it's a clear one. Maybe oh, there we go. I got it. Okay. I can get the number. Yeah, someone get the, the number. I thought that was the uh, clear. So I'm just going to heat this up two seconds. Okay. Go. Heat guns down here. Sorry. Six oh three n. Yeah, six oh three n. That was. Sorry for that one. Yeah, just give it some little droplets on here. Okay. Yeah, there we go. Yes, we don't sell a hair dryer, but that is. Uh, and don't use your hair dryer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you can see up there, but it is. It's got a little um, glaze on there. Can you see? A tiny bit of a glaze. Try and get a bit of a shine in the yeah. back. There we go. Hard to oh, see. Yeah. But I'm show you on the finished one here. So I'm going to do then. So I've popped it onto some um, of the gorgeous Essentials cardstock. Yeah, yeah. Um, on there, okay. Add us a little bit of ribbon. You can see this. There you go. You can see the shine there now. Look, that's what yeah. you need to get the glaze. That's great. Lovely. So what I've done, I'll just pop this card quickly together for you. Okay. So what I've used here is I've used the um, bow scale die yeah, bow scale to die. create my base card. Okay. So the bow scale die, uh, that's 1215 E. So I already taped this. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, and there's, a, there's a hair of the die set which goes along yes. with that. You could do because you get a nice, nice bowed shape. Yeah. So what I've done here is I've um, done a, a square, well, oblong <laughs> mat of the essentials card. Just fits in. I've measured the line with the embossing is on the die just to get a perfect fit, and then cut the next size up with some of them, the papers from the R8 bait pads. Can't tell you which one it is, sorry, because. Uh... <laughs> okay, so this one here now I've used the um, the new screens. Yeah, yeah. The garden trellis. The garden trellis. Thank you, Ryan. Because <laughs> I completely forgot. We got a number for that. Yeah. Uh, one, four, four. Yeah. So that's one four four five for the uh, the garden trellis. Lovely. Good and they on. were uh, they were on Tuesday's show with the mail the cocos. Okay. So I'm gonna just pop that. I just pop some ribbon around it. I'll pop that down there for you. Grandma's assistant. I never had one of them before. <laughs> Oh, it, it was bow scale uh, uh, die. It was uh, sorry if we're not too clear. We're trying to be uh, as loud in the microphone, get as clearer. Uh, okay. Every week we're trying to improve the live uh, as, as best we can, get into better visuals and everything like that. So I'll just pop that on there. Just pop a. That's a one two one five there. E there. That was for the bow scale. <laughs> so I've just popped a. I would lose glue normally, but just for quickness. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. Make Lovely video. card. Nice and easy. That's beautiful, Mandy. That's great. Okay. So. Chance to win that one. with the competition. So yeah, comment below for a chance to win that card. And there'll be three cards. So you bump a week for a winner, I guess, this week. <laughs> so three cards. Let's get to the next one. And we'll clear away. <laughs> yeah. So all, all the so pretty stuff will be included with that card. So the uh, so pretty. Yeah. Yeah, but look here, what we got. I'll just get the dice as well so you can have a look again. Everyone, it's a chance to win. So, comment below things you'd like to see next week or just to say hi, uh, and we'll pick one uh, at random and announce it on next week's Tonic Live, okay? okay. Just getting everything cleaned up, guys. Sorry, just getting ready. <laughs> just in shot there. At the bottom. Yeah, so yeah, just to yeah, remind you guys, those stamps, uh, if you like the look of that card, um, they'll be available this weekend uh, from 9 a.m., okay? Yeah, and, and those, those are just two of the collection. There's, there'll be plenty of say, stamps on there on the day. Let me just clear some, some space for you. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you from another set of these stamps this weekend. I'm just going to show you, I'm going to just show you part of it. I'm going to show you how to create, there you go. Yeah. This, this sort of funky rose background, and I'm using the embellishment mousse as Fabulous. well. Okay, so I've got a piece of watercolor card. I'm working on a piece of watercolor card. Yeah. So I'm going to spread it around. Okay. So I like to work baby wipes when I'm putting my color on. <laughs> so to get my um, background, because I only want a little bit of color on the back, I take a little bit of um, mousse on my um, baby wipe. Yeah, okay. just the code on that cornflower just blue, eight oh six n. Because I only want a hint of colour, and I think the baby wipes all spread it around really nicely. Okay, a bit too dark. I'm just going to give that a quick dry. Okay, there we go. Give that a 
away. Give that a quick blast of the heat gun. Two seconds. Yeah. Because I'm putting embossing powder on top of it, I don't want it wet because it'll cling to yeah. like, all the areas. Yeah, any questions you have, guys, um, comment on there. I'll take a read and, and ask Mandy. Okay, so that's it. And then just put a clear that mark. I don't want everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, I've only got like only wanted a hint of colour just in the background. Then we're going to do the use the the rose. I call it a squiggly rose. I don't think that's the actual title of it. <laughs> so I'm going to use anti-static bag now. Tip with the anti-static bag is don't plonk it down and bang it. It's far too much powdery. What you need to do is just swipe yeah, it across. Yeah. And what this does, it takes any it stops any oil contact from your fingers because um, the embossing powder will cling to any oil and this helps it you know, not cling where it shouldn't be. Uh, okay. Jane's asked, were they dry baby wipes that you used then? No, wet. Wet baby wipes? Wet baby go. wipes. It helps, spread, it helps spread the paint. They're really good with your acrylic paints as well because it makes the paint go further. Okay. So I've done that. Okay. Now I'm going to use the um, Versamark ink and the, it's hard to show you the rose. Can you see the rose? Rose okay, stamp there. Yeah. It's a fabulous little stamp. Yeah, Very Macintoshy, I think, isn't yeah, it? Very yeah, Macintoshy. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm gonna move this up. This is gonna be hard to see because I'm doing it on clear with white paper. Okay. But then I'm just going to reverse mark it on. Okay. Pop that on there. I will show you the white with the white powder because you'll be able to see it better there. Okay. So I'm gonna pop the powder on. Tap the excess off, and we're going to blast it. <laughs> you can see that. So yeah, that's yeah all right. Okay. Yep. There you go. See. So with these stamps, you know, it's not about just the main image. You can make fabulous um, backgrounds, especially with this set. Lovely abstract background. Are there, are there sort of any different techniques you can do with the heat oh, well. gun or anything? Blackwell with the the heat gun you know so with your when you're getting the um with the heat gun's gonna just it's for the melting the powder for drying yeah, yeah. yeah so i mean that's mainly what we're, what we're gonna do with it for but i'll show you this because we can do some funky backgrounds just using that stamp to do oh, you know, cool. and all that is is white embossed powder with a white pencil Brilliant. that's all it is okay there we go all right so we stamp the flower then what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this it's a little leaf shape there there you go Okay, mm -hmm. I my nails. There you go. Okay. So I'm just going to ink that up. Yep. And just put it where I think it might go, basically. Okay, it's hard to see. I can just about see it. We can see it here, but you won't be able to see it till yeah. the powder's on. Okay, just going to pop that like that. Some white powder. My grandma's assistant. <laughs> I'm taking her home with me. Ah, oh, let's come on with you. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> and I'm going to black that the heat gun. I'm going to say black. Sorry, I just keep going black. Sorry. That's all right. That's a Mandy word. Yeah. I'm going to black that and I've got the sears on. Okay. So there we have. It's hard to see. Oh, there you can see it shining there. You'll see it more in a, in a moment when we start painting it. Can you see there? Yeah, there you go. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use the mousses then to paint with. So I've got the pink. <laughs> I can't remember the colour. The pink, the lilac. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. So we've got you got lilac. Um, so eight oh one n. Uh, that's lilac lavender. And then what we've got the green. black. Yeah. So there we got black ash. That's eight eleven n. That one there. And then eight oh eight n. That's the spring green. Okay. okay. Now I put. I know. I may get told off for this bit. I'm sure you will. This the, but this is the way I do it. I'm sorry. We'll wait and see it, and then we'll decide. We'll, we'll, sorry. we'll decide then. It's the way I do it. But I do use them a lot because I use them through my stencils. I like to paint with them. You know, I, I do all sorts of these as well for dimension as well as flat work. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I got some. A mixed media, don't I? I do. They're fabulous. Fabulous for mixed media. They really are. Because they blend so well, you can create so many different colours with them what's, as well. What's so mixed really media? Like I'm sort of completely new. It's as it sounds, really. It's like. Um, you can use anything on it. Yeah, yeah. Paper, wood, fabric, anything. Just mix it all together. Oh, okay. <laughs> so basically, nothing's wrong. Yeah, that's Every, that's. Everybody what we can do mixed media. Oh, I think I've been doing we that already. That. I think yes. anyone oh, yeah. I've done. Like that's, that's not just, wrong. That's art. Just call <laughs> it mixed media. Okay. Right then. So what I do now is I'm going to paint with them. This is a bit. People are going. Oh my God, what are you doing? I'm going to spray a bit of water into my paints. <laughs> 
Sorry. <laughs> but I will have water. Oh, on, I will put water on my palette as well because I do want to water it down a little bit. Okay. This is a bit where here's one I made earlier is going to come into really really good effect. <laughs> so I'm going to use my just my lilac one here. There we go. And I'm just going to paint the line. I'll just let my brush as I need it. I'll show you now. I will turn it around for you to see. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But I have started to. Um, there you go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. get a. You can see that. Oh, yeah. Go. That's good. Oh, there you go. See the face? There we go. That's <laughs> not my face. <laughs> that was good. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to. It's nice to see some new techniques to yeah, do with yeah. them products. I, I absolutely I love these. And as you know, like I know I watched um, Crate and Craft the other day, and I know a lady called Sylvia had sent some absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it was stunning yeah, yeah. paintings. I mean, I'm not an artist like that, I'm afraid. I'm just a slap it on, hope for the best. Um, <laughs> Mixed media. It works for, okay. works for me. Mixed media. It works for me. So now you get a little bit of my um, pink, okay? And what I do then is I start adding a little bit of shading. And that's what you can do with these, because so, you can, you know, do the painting. Yeah, yeah. It's only a hint, but it makes a whole difference when you've done a whole row of them, okay? It makes a huge difference. You like can that. actually start seeing. Yeah, there you go. Great. The shading taken, taken there. Yeah. But the shimmer on these, and the more they once they dry, the shimmer just goes. Back. The light just catches them. It's amazing, mm. yeah. So I'm gonna go on to my green. It's spring green. Mm. Okay. Well, I'm just painting. I will show you now in, into the leaves there. But because it it blends, I can see I've got a baby wipe constantly in my hand. Yeah. It's damp, and I don't want to get my brush everywhere. But I can then, um, even with a bit more water there, I can drag this color over a bit okay and just add it where i want it but it drags and mixes yeah so well a, you know play you know play around with it oh god yeah that's why i always i always have a baby wipe in my hand yeah, yeah. at the time so i can um blend it as i want it so see i've gone in there i'm taking a tiny bit out now can you see i'm wiping my brush constantly there because what i'm doing is i'm creating the shade yeah yeah so by good. doing the dark bit Okay. You can actually create the shade on your leaves as well. Okay, so I'll show that, and I'll just show you quickly with the stem. Now the stems. Are, oh my God, what's she doing? This is quite a dark colour. <laughs> all okay. these uh, mousses, by the way, guys. Uh, these are all part yes. of the Nouveau range. Okay, and it's you know okay. the wide, wide range now. <laughs> so you have to excuse my shaky so hand now. Plenty to create this type of thing, okay. and uh, well, a lot more. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Wide thing. So I've just done a black line basically. Yeah. But then what I do is I take some of the green. Big blob there. I'm fascinated, you. That's why I'm so I know, I know. <laughs> See, I take the green and just start blending it down so it actually darkens the green. Okay. Yeah, no, it does. It shows the diversity. Yeah, and it gives you the shade, shade and light. So you've yeah, got your. Yeah. Sorry, you've got your <laughs> light and your shade. So you've got your shadow yeah, yeah. and your dark. Okay. Yeah. So what I've done here, so that's the technique, yeah? There we go. So what I've done here is I've stamped it. Oh, there you go. Shading That's on that from those the, from the, the mm. pink is amazing on that. So you've got. I've just done three there. I've done the blue wash. And what I've done here added is I've added the um, crystal, crystal drops. Crystal drops. The colour you were using earlier on the. That's the ivory seashell. Yeah. Seashell. And I've just put some of the white glitter on top for Nuvo oh, glitter. Yeah, great. Yeah, that's all I've done. Okay. They're lovely dimensional drops. Though. Oh, they're good. They're lovely. All right. So I've just it's made a theme. quick. 8x8 eight eight card base, very simple. Okay, I've used the Birthday Swirl die. Yeah, Birthday Swirl. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, see, that's 105.80. Yeah. That is. I've actually cut this out of um, double sided adhesive paper and then again put the crystal glitter on top. Lovely. Well, then okay. what we'll do is, is because there are a lot of codes and a lot of products being used, yeah. we'll we'll do a big list for everyone at the end rather okay. than. I know I'm trying to chip in find yeah. and try and get what you're using, okay. but. Uh, <laughs> And I've also used the um, Essentials cards pack, the pink pack. Yeah, yeah. It's fabulous to die cut. It's fabulous to matte and layer. Fantastic. So I'll just pop this on. I've got one more thing then to show you quickly. I'll talk you through what it, what it is. I think I put too many phone cards on. <laughs> I want to make sure it moves. Okay. It's not going to move. It's not going to move, is it? No. So I'm uh, just going to... Just say some hi. Hi, Andrea. And hi, Linda. Okay, so I'm going to pop that on there but what I've also done is I've made a little butterfly and how I've made the butterfly is with the petal stamp the leaf stamp I've stamped it using the pink embossing powder there you go pink embossing powder and again I've just painted it 
with the uh, lilac. Doing the mousses. Mousses. Yeah. yeah exactly. Thank you. Then. Cut us, just layer them up together, and uh, stuff a little scrap of card back there. Okay. And we'll pop on a little foam pad. That's so cute. Yeah, it's a lovely whimsical idea. Yeah, if anybody's got any questions, again, guys, just uh, say comment below any questions about this, uh, this card or any of the ones from, uh, from before. Uh, we'll do our best to answer them. Crafting, impressed myself there. <laughs> there you go. So, and if you want to see Mandy coming back again, <laughs> yeah, be sure to like the vid. That's, that's pretty <laughs> so much there it. There you go. So, oh, looks great. It's a lovely, easy technique. Using yeah. the mousses, mousse is absolutely brilliant for painting, Gorgeous. and with the with your embossing pads as well. Yeah, if if you missed any of this tutorial okay. or the two previous, uh, the video is going to save at the end of this, so you'll be able to watch them all again and and pause and go through and, and make as you yes. go along. Um, so and, and those you know stamps and everything they're going to be on on the weekend now uh, from nine o'clock on Create and Craft. There we go. So for the chance to win, I'll just I'll do the finish up admin, I guess. Oh, well done, Mandy. You know, okay. we'll, we'll get. I don't think they saw, <laughs> saw your face for two seconds for the okay. start of this that's, video. That's the best, best view. <laughs> just, <laughs> Yeah, um, if, if Dan could just pull back the camera a moment. Okay. I don't know. Thanks, Mandy. Uh, brilliant, that was. Thank Great. Um, so, what I'll do is just, just close up, just say to chance to win this card, this card, these so tricky corners. There we go. And the cards from today, what I'll do is just comment in below, just say hi or what you'd like to see next week. And we'll draw them at random. Uh, I'm going to announce it in next week's show. Probably next, I think probably next Thursday, if not be next Friday, okay? Uh, um, so, yeah, just make sure to, to tune in then. Uh, anything else? Let me just, just let me see, think. Um, yeah, Create and Craft uh, tomorrow from 9 a.m., okay? So, from, from uh, yeah, from Saturday uh, from 9 a.m. So, if you want to tune in uh, next week, uh, tune in uh, tomorrow on Create and Craft, do so. But, say from us, well, come in, Mandy, come and say. Come on, come and say. Come and say, come bye. And say bye. Bye. <laughs>